Well, hello, my Piparinos! Welcome to another episode of Dance Mommy Vlog! Yay! Oh, we love you, fantabulously, Cherry. I'm <laughs> being silly. Um, so, yeah, I am back for another episode, um, and I'm going to continue my series of um, top 10 uh, Walt Disney World restaurants. Um, this time, I'm going to do the top 10 counter service restaurants. Um, counter service, when I think counter service, like you, if you're confused on the terms of like table service and counter service, table service means that there's a waiter or a waitress that's going to take your order. Counter service means you carry your own tray. That's kind of how I would, how I've always distinguished the two. Um, but don't be fooled by being counter service. Disney offers some great stuff, some excellent food um, at counter service. In fact, in the last few years, even the places that traditionally, and, and most of the places that I'm thinking of are in the parks, um, have really, really stepped up their, uh, their food quality um, at, for counter service. Um, some of these places are small, uh, so there's not a lot of seating, um, but, you know, I'll, I'll kind of address those as I go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump right into them. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's a countdown, so maybe I'll get the numbers right on this one. The <laughs> so, um, okay, so number 10 is the Lotus Blossom Cafe, which is in the Chinese Pavilion at Epcot. I just have one thing to say about Lotus Blossom egg rolls. They have some amazing egg rolls. I think you can use one of your snack credits, actually, and just get an egg roll, and it's just big enough to just kind of not make you feel full, but satisfy you um, if you don't feel like eating a big meal. Um, I, I definitely recommend it. I've actually, I don't think I've ever eaten, yeah, yes, I have eaten like their sweet and sour chicken or something like that. Uh, it's been years and years ago, so I can't really say that, but their egg rolls are astounding. So look into that. That's number 10, Lotus Blossom Cafe at the Chinese Pavilion at Epcot, or in the Chinese Pavilion at Epcot. So, number nine, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe and Magic Kingdom. Um, I haven't eaten there in quite some time. In fact, a lot of these places I haven't eaten in some time because since we upgrade, started doing the deluxe dining, we try to do more expensive restaurants so that we're getting our more of our money's worth or sometimes in some cases double um, our money's worth. But... I have always had an affinity for uh, Cosmic Rays. Um, number one, if you get to a certain part of it, the view of the castle. There is a great view of the castle at Cosmic Rays. Um, and, and the food... It, hi, Josie! It's Olaf! It's Olaf? Well, go watch Olaf! Go get him! Um, uh, and someone can comment below uh, about the food quality if you've eaten there recently. I want to hear about it. I mean, when I when I was going there, and it's been like I said, several years. Um, it was burgers and fries and and stuff like that. Um, but from what I remember about Cosmic Rays, I thought the food was excellent for what it was, um, and. That view of the castle, uh, especially at night, if you're eating there at night, is great. And it's a great place to go in, especially if you're there in summer, which I will never do, I can assure you. Um, and then watch me book a summer trip. Um, but I'm getting off topic. Um, it's a great place to just go in and get out of the heat. It can, And I will say this, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and say most of these places are loud. Because they're quick service, there's going to be a lot of people there. It is what it is. It, if you're looking for a romantic, quick service restaurant or um, or counter service, it's not going to happen. Just move on. Um, anyway, um, 
but you get a great view, like I said, a great view of the castle with decent food. So, in your Magic Kingdom. So, uh, once again, that's number nine, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe at Magic Kingdom. Number eight, Gaston's Tavern, uh, which is located in the new Fantasyland section at Magic Kingdom. I, well, other than the view of Gaston himself, which is usually pretty impressive. I do love me a good Disney villain. What can I say? Um, but it's very charming. It's very small in there. The, the space is very small. But it offers some very unique um, food. Um, I think this is mostly quick service. I mean, I, I think they do have certain things that are meals. But I think most of the stuff are snack credits. But the thing that sticks out to me most about since this last trip is LeFou's Brew. It, and like, like I said, it's, uh, that, that area is Beauty and the Beast themed. Uh, and this is from the movie, the tavern that Gaston was in. They've even got the, and, it, and for a, for a um, table, for a table ser or counter service credit restaurant or, you know, little area, it's, so well themed. You, they have Gaston's chair, and, and and of course they use antlers and all of their decorating. Um, so atmosphere is fantastic. Lafou's brew. I don't know how to describe it, except that it's very sweet, and it can fill you up. It's it, it's this drink. I want to say it's like. There's some coconut in there and pineapple and some other juice. Um, it's very thick, but yet very refreshing and I think delicious. Um, but if you're if you're not wanting sweets in the middle of the day, don't 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 try that. Um, but honestly, I would just walk in there just to look at Gaston's chair and and see the theming. Um, Anywhere that you're at in Walt Disney World, just stop, stop for like two minutes and take a look at the surroundings and all every themed, every how well themed everything is. Seriously, do it. Um, but anyway, that um, is my number eight Gaston's Tavern at Magic Kingdom in Fan in Fantasyland. And number seven is another Magic Kingdom restaurant, um, Pinocchio's Village House. Um, which is in um, in Fantasyland. It's in the older Fantasyland section. It's right there where um, it's a small world is. As a matter of fact, there's a you can actually see into the ride. It's a small world from Pinocchio Village House. Uh, once again, it's your standard counter service fare, but decent food, very well themed. Once again, um, it's been a few years since I've eaten there, but. I mean, the food was good. Can't really complain about it. Um, and you get that little glimpse of Small World. So, try, you know, if you're in Fantasyland, if you got a bunch of kids and they don't want to leave Fantasyland and you want a good, quick table uh, counter service meal, go go to uh, Pinocchio Village, Pinocchio's Vill Pinocchio's Village House, uh, which which once again is my number seven and it's located in fantasy, the Fantasyland area of Magic Kingdom. Number six, Starring Rolls Cafe, um, which is at Hollywood Studios. It's right there um, next to the Hollywood Brown Derby. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about the food. I, I think they have maybe some ready-made sandwiches and stuff like that, so it's not like your typical thing but mostly what I use that place for is my snack credits and going in the morning if I have snack credits and getting a croissant or one of their muffins they have great muffins and croissants and but but the seating is outside the inside is very small it's just like a little just like a little line but everything that they offer is in the line and as you move through you you can get a tray and put whatever you want on it um, but 
I've just always found like if I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, it's one of the better places to go to me. Um, but I always find myself, and I don't know what it is. I think it's kind of like the popcorn at Magic Kingdom. There is something about the 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 croissants at Starring Rolls Cafe that tastes. 20 billion times better than any other croissant. I don't know what it is. Um, but, like I said, there's not a whole lot to say. It's just your standard food. Um, snack food. But, I love the theming. And, and, you get, and you can sit in the seating is outside. There's no seating inside. Um, so, but you get a very good view of the little courtyard area. Um, like, as you're approaching uh, the Grauman's Chinese Theater, um, thing the great movie ride <laughs> that's it um as you're approaching that it's you know a decent view of the little courtyard area um if they have character palooza going on it's a nice little place to go see character you know the characters come out um not like i said not a lot to say um but definitely try their muffins or their croissants um that is once again that's my number six star and rolls cafe at hollywood studios Number five, Sunshine Terrace, which is in the Land Pavilion at Epcot. It's been a long time since I ate there, but I just, I don't know what it is. Every time I walk by this place, I get a smile on my face. Um, like I said, it's right there in the land, so it's, it's actually right outside the ride living with the land. Um, but sometimes if you're lucky, um, and the food is your basic, once again, your basic counter service food fare. But if you're lucky, sometimes they have the waiters and the waitresses or, you know, the, the staff will come by and sing. That happened to us, oh my God, it's been about 10 years ago. But sometimes they will come out and sing. But as far as like food quality, it was some of the better um, counter service food that I've ever eaten at. And, and I don't know if it's because it's like right there with living with the land where they grow the food that they use all over Walt Disney World and it's just extra fresh. I don't know. Kind of like the Garden Grill. I, I, I don't know. But um, I just, I love that. I just love the atmosphere. Um, it's kind of like a cafeteria, but not a cafeteria, if, if that makes any sense. Um, but I, every time I walk by that place or I have something from there, I just smile. I don't know. It's sunshiny because it's Sunshine Terrace. <laughs> and that Sunshine Terrace is number five on my list, and it's at the Land Pavilion in Epcot. I love segues. Uh, number four is also at Epcot. It is the Yorkshire County Fish Shop, which is in the UK Pavilion. It's actually more of a stand than a restaurant. And I guess I should say, by the way, this, are, this is based on just the places that I've eaten. Um, so if you, if your favorites on, on my, on my list, it means I haven't eaten there. So if you have any suggestions for me to try, um, any counter service, put them below. Um, either I've eaten there and I didn't really like it or I've never eaten there. If you suggest it, I will try it. So put them below. Back again. Sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, York. Sure, County Fish Shop is more of a stand than it is a restaurant. It's actually right beside Rose and Crown. Um, and it, I, I've said that the best fish and chips on property came from Rose and Crown. I'm actually going to revise that. Now, for table service, yes. But if you want hot, fresh fish and chips, go to Yorkshire County Fish Shop. Um, there's no seating, like I said, it's more of a stand, but it's a beautiful area there, out there by um, UK. Um, so you can sit along on one of the benches and overlook the water um, if you happen to get it around the time of illuminations. UK is the perfect place to watch illuminations. Go for it. Um, but the fish and chips is amazing. And once again, that is Yorkshire County Fish Shop and Epcot at the UK Pavilion. That is my number four. 
Number three is the Yak and Yeti counter service at Animal Kingdom. Um, if I will comment, I will link my well. I'll comment. I will link below um, our review of the Yak and Yeti table service that we had last year. Um, this is completely different, and as far as food quality for counter service and like different offerings you don't get much better than Yak and Yeti, I'll be honest with you. Um, I usually wind up getting their honey chicken and it is honestly, it will fill you up fast. Um, it comes in, you know, your, your typical like Chinese food container, um, but it's filled with honey chicken, snap peas, and rice. And Oh my gosh, it is some goodie. I'm just saying. Um, if you don't, if you don't feel like going in a restaurant and sitting down, if you if you're in a hurry but you still want good food quality, I highly recommend Yak and Yeti's counter service. Um, it's the the food is great. There is no seating because it's it's a counter service, so there's no inside seating unless you're eating Yak and Yeti's um, uh, table service. Um, but they do have a few places to sit outside. To me, that's the only downside to the counter services. There's not a lot of places to sit. Um, and it's real, and it's by it, and it's in a really busy area near uh, Expedition Everest too. So you might want to take that into account. But as far as food quality for a counter service, it does not get much better uh, and especially if you like Chinese food and their egg rolls not quite as good as Lotus Blossom cafes but they are still very good and worth a snack credit absolutely go for it uh, once again at Animal Kingdom my number three is Yak and Yeti counter service number two um, and my number two my my number two and my number one are both at Magic Kingdom uh, but my number two is Columbia Harbor House. This, and, and, and it is in um, Liberty Square. Um, it's actually like right across from, uh, from um, it's right across from uh, Haunted Mansion. Um, the food is awesome. They have a lobster roll. For a counter service, the the food quality I've heard the Reuben there is very good. I'm not much on Reubens, but I've heard the Reuben is good. Um, and if you take the Keys to the Kingdom tour, which is an amazing tour, um, I wouldn't do it for kids. But if you happen to do the Keys to the Kingdom tour, lunch at Columbia Harbor House is included with your price for your tour. Um, if you, if you, in case you're curious, Keys to the Kingdom tour is like a four-hour walking tour where they take you through Magic Kingdom. They take you on several rides, and you have like an earpiece, and your guide is talking to you in your, you know, through your earpiece, um, and going on rides, and you listen to the guide. They'll tell you, you know, certain things about the rides. You get to go down to the Utilidors. If you've ever heard what the Utilidors, that's basically how Magic Kingdom is run. Um, just look up Utilidors and you'll, and maybe I'll go into in, in depth in that in another video. But um, lunch is included at Columbia Harbor House and it is so good. I've done it twice. I've done the, I've done the tour twice and I've eaten, so I've eaten there twice. And you don't, the food, you, the food for a counter service is amazing. Plus the area, plus the restaurant is you know, despite being there in one of the busiest parts of the park, is to me kind of quiet, especially if you go upstairs. Now, if you're down on the, you know, on the main floor, it can be a little crowded. But if you like go upstairs, it it can be a nice, quiet little place, um, and you can all you can probably find a place to recharge your phone too. Um, it, and just if you want to get out of the heat and just just sit down and have a nice, quiet meal. I uber and and, um, and of course it's themed to the nth degree like everything at Disney uh, and every restaurant at Disney so um, um, 
So my number two, and I highly recommend it, is it is Columbia Harbor House in Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. And drum roll, please. My number one counter service, and if you watched um, our my tag video, you know what it is. It is our tradition, Casey's Corner at Magic Kingdom on Main Street, USA. The very first meal that I had, the very first that I had on property when I arrived at Walt Disney World in October 2001 was a Casey's Corner hot dog. I don't know how to explain this. It, I think it has to do with the popcorn and the croissant. It's just like the popcorn and the croissants. The hot dogs at Casey's Corner are the best hot dogs I've ever eaten. I don't know if they sprinkle a little extra Disney magic on it, some pixie dust or something else. I don't know. But I love Casey's Corner and we haven't gone there the last, the la we didn't go there the last time and yeah, it felt kind of weird not going there. Because um, it was always my tradition to eat there at least once, and, and usually on our first uh, Magic Kingdom day. Um, but you know, maybe we'll do it this time just to just as a hoot. Go eat a Casey's hot dog, yo. Know? <laughs> um, but they have, I think they have corn dog nuggets, and they have different types of hot dogs, um, and they are um, they do have seating inside, but it's very limited. Um, Casey's is a great place to go, has seating areas, and I think they've expanded the seating area too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if you want to watch the Castle show, which now I know is no longer a dream along with Mickey, it's going to be a new Castle show starting soon. Um, it's a great place to sit down and kind of watch it from afar so you're not like right up on the stage. Nice place, and it's a nice view of the castle if you just want a view of the castle. Um, Inside, um, they have they have a little condiments area. They took away the the goopy cheese, <laughs> and I think they took the mayo away too. That they used to have a pump for the mayo too. So I was kind of, I'm kind of bummed about that. But uh, they do have a little. They have a couple condiments bars. Um, they've just the hot dogs, man. Sometimes you just want a hot dog, and if you just want a hot dog while at Magic Kingdom. There is no better place than my number one counter service at Walt Disney World, Casey's Corner, Main Street USA, Magic Kingdom. So anyway, so that's my list. My top 10 Walt Disney World counter service restaurants. Um, if you have others, uh, I want to hear your top 10, your top 5. Uh, any suggestions that you might have for us to eat at? Definitely comment below. Please comment below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, give me your suggestions on counter service, table service, um, whatever. Just give it to me, man. I'll, I want to hear. I want to hear from you guys. Um, I think the next video I'm going to do is probably going to be maybe sometime this weekend where I give my top 10 character meal restaurants and my top three because I've only eaten three of the places um, signature dining uh, signature dining restaurants um, so I'm gonna sign off for now hey Josie you want to come say bye bye well, come here. <gasps> you want to say bye 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 Daisy <laughs> bye mommy <laughs> Oh, I got a love of you, Finder. Alright, can you blow kisses? Oh. Bye, Daisy. <laughs> oh. Bye, guys. Oh, yes. Like she said, bye, guys. Say love, peace, and rock. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys. Love.